Welcome inside Studio 21 for Quick Pitch. I'm Heidi Watney. Eight games on the docket, but a ton of postseason impatience, so let's get to it. Jacob DeGrom and the Mets look to slow down the red-hot D-backs, who came into Queens, winners of 11 of 13. New York entered Monday just two and a half games back of Arizona in the wildcard standings. Would they cut into that lead? And speaking of the wild card, the Phillies began a crucial do-or-die stretch against the Braves, but it was Ronald Lacuna Jr. doing his part to hurt the city of brotherly love as he powered his way closer to the 40-40 club. Plus, the Cubs received some bad news regarding their all-star shortstop. How long will Javier Baez be sidelined and who will replace him? We have the answers, but first, we start in Houston, where Mike Fires towed the slab unbeaten in his last 21 starts tying a franchise record with Hall of Famer Lefty Grove. His counterpart on the mound is Zach Ranke, who's still trying to find his way with the Astros, but Houston is coming off an offensive explosion with their 21-1 win on Sunday. So let's head to the juice box to see if Fires would be able to slow down the powerful bats of the first place stroke. Mike Fires on the bump for the Oakland A's, having a pretty good season for them overall with a 14-3 record, a 3.51 ERA. Sunday, 21 runs scored by the Astros. Football Sunday. The Astros with a great scoring opportunity for Alex Bregman. Runners on first and third and one. That ball is hammered. Alex Bregman, a three-run home run. Astros take the early lead. Number 35 on the year for Bregman. That's the most for an Astro in five years. Here's Alvarez. With the base is empty. Still only one out. And Alvarez drills it deep to right field. And you can kiss that one goodbye. Into the second deck. Back-to-back -back checks. First Bregman. Now Alvarez. His 23rd. Four to nothing Astros. Diaz goes to second. There are two outs for Chirino. Drills it deep to left center field. Going back as Brown looking up. See you later! A two-run home run for Chirinos. The Astros' third home run of the inning. And it's six to nothing in the first. Here's Altuve. He singled and scored in the first. Altuve! Deep to left field! The fourth home run of the game. It is eight-nothing Astros. Now it's Brantley who singled and scored in the first. Trail deep to right, it sends back Grossman looking up. See you later! Back to back Jacks for the second straight inning. A new career high for Brantley, that's number 21. 9 0 Astros. One out of no one on. Here's Alvarez. He homered in the first. Oh my goodness! Are you kidding me? This ball is on way out of here! What is the longest home run to the history of this ballpark? I don't think a ball's ever landed up there. I cannot believe what we're witnessing with this 22-year-old. 10 nothing Astros. Here's Serino. He homered in the first. There's another base hit. 11 nothing Astros. 32 runs in a nine-inning span over the last two games. 32 runs. The runners at the corners and two out for Profar, who popped out his first time. And that's hit sharply, and a leaping grab by Straw going to his right. Straw makes the play to preserve the shutout. So far, so good. The top pass of the inning, a two-hit shutout through five so far. Swing and a miss at the breaking ball, a curveball. Getting the strikeout for Zach Greinke. That is now five strikeouts. Ground ball to Tucker on two hops. Kyle will take it himself as Robbie Grossman retired to end the inning. One, two, three inning for Zach Greinke. Still a good pitch count in the low 70s through six. Now it's Alvarez. He's homered twice wide out his last time. This ball gets away, and with Stubbs' speed, there won't even be a play. Garrett Stubbs will score the 12th run of the game on a wild pitch. Here's Robinson Chirinos. Two men on, nobody out. That ball's hit deep. Robinson Chirinos has done it again! Just ties an Astros franchise record with the seventh home run of the night. Chirinos second himself. And we have a 15 to nothing game. Sheldon Noisy last hope for Oakland struck out his first time. Swing and a miss. Noisy strikes out, and that is the ball game. Another shellacking by the Astros as they defeat the Oakland A's 15 to nothing. The Astros follow up their 21 run effort on Sunday with a 15 spot on Monday. Houston has outscored their opponents 36 to 1 in the last two days. That plus 35 run differential is the fourth highest for a two game span since 1900. Not bad for an encore. 
It is time now for our first break, but coming up next, Pete Alonzo got the Mets on the board early and inched closer to Aaron Judge's rookie home run record, and he wasn't done there. That is where we start to tip our pitch. And here comes Polar Bear Pete. He drives this one down the line, toward the wall. It's a second of the night for Pete Alonzo, number 47. He has been something to watch. Now he's two ahead of Mike Trout for the major league lead. No lay into the motion and the 0 1 pitch. Crush to left. Forget about it. That ball is way out of here. A monster blast for Ronald Acuna. This game starts with a bang. Certain tension this time of year. Players feel. Fans feel. Right? imagination into the perfect color to transform your room with the project color app get a colorful new experience and everything you'll need to paint something great at your destination for the best brands the home depot more safe more do it so i can buy from enterprise car sales and you'll take any trade in that's right great there you go well it does need to be a vehicle but i need this out of my house with fair transparent value for every trade in enterprise makes it easy Nobody does spicy chicken like Wendy's. And now, spicy nuggets are back. So all hail the queen of spice. Hail the queen. That's right. And get a free six-piece with your mobile order through the app. Back, bring them back. Amazon's got low prices on millions of items. Welcome, Midnight Snackers. Welcome, everyone. This isn't dry food or wet food. It's not burnt brown pellets. It's real meat and veggies developed with vets and delivered fresh to you. Get 50% off your trial at betterforthem.com. Watch Braves Phillies on MLB Network's Tuesday Night Baseball, live at 7 Eastern. Guys, got hair loss? I know what you're thinking. Should I shave my head? Comb it over? Wear a hat? Just stop. This isn't 1970. Keep your hair and your confidence because Bosley, America's number one hair restoration expert, can give you your real hair back permanently. Check them out today because they're giving away an absolutely free information kit and a free gift card to everyone who texts LEAD to 234-234. Dude, you don't have to look like your dad because this isn't your dad's hair loss treatment. People all over the country trust Bosley because they're ahead of the curve. They use the latest technology to give you your real hair back. And the best part, Bosley's permanent solution is protected by the Bosley Guarantee. Let them show you for free how awesome your hair could look with an absolutely free information kit and a gift card for $250 off. Text LEAD to 234-234. Ask about the Bosley Guarantee. That's LEAD to 234-234. began a crucial stretch on Monday as they sit two games out of the second wild card spot. Not only do they have to face the division leading Braves seven times over an 11-day stretch, but their next five series look like this. Atlanta, Boston, Atlanta again, Cleveland, and Washington. All teams still in the postseason hunt. It is truly do or die time for the Phils. 
Well, for the Braves, despite the fact that they have a comfortable division lead, Atlanta isn't just cruising towards the NL East title. They enter Monday three and a half games back of the Dodgers for the best record in the National League and home field advantage. So who would help their cause on Monday? Ronald Acuna Jr. is set to lead things off. Ronald at 280 on the year, 37 homers, 93 runs driven in. Only into the motion and the 0-1 pitch. Crush to left. Forget about it. That ball is way out of here. A monster blast for Ronald Acuna. This game starts with a bang. Number 38, one to nothing Braves. Here's Albies. And that one is pulled to the right side, and that's going to sneak past Cesar Hernandez. So back-to-back -back hits for the Braves here in the first inning. Freddie Freeman, 299 for the year, 38 home runs, 115 RBIs. His hammer, that's headed for the corner right field. Ozzie around second on his way to third. Harper over quickly, has to dig it up. And Ron Washington's going to throw up the stop sign. It's a double for Freddie Freeman. And now Matt Joyce hits with the bases loaded and nobody out. Two balls, two strikes. And Joyce hits it on the ground. That ought to be two. One there. And two there. But a run is in. All these scores to make it two to nothing. And they're at the corners now for Ozzy. Not going. And Ozzy shoots one in the right field. A base hit. A run is in. Acuna streaking for third. Atlanta comes up with another big two-out hit. Ozzy Albies a multi-hit game, and it's three to nothing. It's to Freeman. Line drive left field, another base hit. Scoring is Acuna. And it is four to nothing Braves. Freeman is two for two. Bryce Harper will try to solve Mike Boltonevich. He's retired every battery space so far here tonight. There you go. He went. Bryce Harper rung up on a check swing. He's still kind of chattering at Ortiz from home plate. And that's 12 in a row set down by Boltonevich. Dickerson grounded to second base his first time up. Dickerson lifts him in the end deep right field. Joyce going back. And the no-hitter is shut out. Swanson leaves it off. Oh, strike three right on the inside part of the plate. Six strikeouts. Swing and a miss of 94 mile an hour here. Seven strikeouts for Nola. Here's the one two pitch. Top ball to third. Mike Del Franco has it. Damage. A one two three, sixth inning. Aaron Nola on four, the first two, nothing six. And the Braves now with runners at the corners with one out. And here's Josh Donaldson. Driven toward right. Harper back. First pitch. Three run homer Donaldson. Home run number 37 for Josh Donaldson. Carrying that umbrella around the bases. Rain is out. The umbrella is out in Philly. It's 7 to 1. Mike Wolfenovich is back out there for the Braves. He does have bullpen health available now. Okay, batter waiting for another 0 2 pitch. Here it is. And it swung on and missed. Chased a slider in the dirt. And a strikeout for Wolfenovich. That's his seventh. The ball's in strike. Ground ball hit toward Ozzy. Mike Fultonovich is through seven innings with a 7-1 lead. And he did it in fewer than 100 pitches. Outstanding performance for Mike. Josh Tomlin is on to get the final three outs and give the Braves their 90th win. Here's Dickerson with two outs and a runner at first. Line drive set Billy Hamilton's there. He's got it. And the Braves begin the road trip in great fashion. They win it 7-2. The magic number for Atlanta is trimmed to 10. The Braves get back to their winning ways as they have now won 10 of their last 11 games. Ronald Acuna Jr. hit his 15th career leadoff homer in only 172 starts in the leadoff spot, becoming the fastest player in MLB history to accomplish that feat. Meanwhile, the Players of the Week were announced on Monday with Austin Meadows taking home AL honors after batting 522 with four home runs and eight RBIs for the Rays. And over in the NL, Patel Marte batted 542 with four homers while eclipsing the 30 home run plateau for the first time in his career. Speaking of Marte, let's check out his D-back who began a critical four-game set against Pete Alonso's match. We'll bring up Pete Alonso. So Pete is tied for the major league lead in the home run. Alonso drives one deep left center, headed toward the wall. That ball is out of here. Number 46 for Pete Alonso, tied with Trout no more. He's got the major league lead, and the Mets have a 1-0 lead in the opening inning. Big series, first game. Alonso, big blow to put the Mets on top early. Well, Wilmer Flores is set for his first city field plate appearance in an enemy uniform. And there are a lot of people who came to the game today to express their sentiments 
one of the most beloved bats of the last half dozen years. It's got to feel good, and Mummer has got to be a little nervous as first as that. I have a secret cloud as a man. Mummer just whipped out. Pitches first time tonight. A dramatic overshift. The Diamondbacks are employing two outfielders right now. Drives this one to center field, slicing away from Marte, and that ball's going to go all the way to the wall. And Ramos will cruise into second base with a leadoff double. They really had two outfielders. That was the issue. Robots will play that uh, shallow left field spot. First and second, two out 